Yeah, my name is Carlos Marroquin. My name is Mark Lipman. My name is Kwasi Nkrumah. My name is Cheryl Eichley. Yes, my name is Ellen Brown. So I think the meeting today was very significant. I think that the primary significance of it was that the, uh, um, Wells Fargo felt it was necessary to meet with representatives uh, or, or activists in, rather, uh, the Occupy movement. Uh, and I think that, that they extended the invitation to us because they recognize that the Occupy movement is the spearhead of a massive move that's taking place among the population throughout the country. It was a, a meeting in which we presented to them the frustrations of millions of Americans, uh, families that continue to struggle with their mortgages, continue to struggle with their foreclosure issues. Some of the issues that we presented to them is the fact that many homeowners find themselves in a struggle just to, to be in touch with the banks. Uh, the system that they created in the loan modification process that, that is failing, the people continue to, to be denied modifications. It was presented to them. They understand that there are uh, issues that uh, homeowners continue to, to be disconnected with, with their banks. In the, in the whole process. So they have promised us that they're going to look into, into these uh, uh, business practices. Um, they said that they needed to digest what we had presented to them today. They basically gave us a brief presentation with a lot of numbers and a lot of data. And I think for us, we all have worked with families face to face. We, we see the, the suffering that they have in the community. What was completely missing from this discussion on their side was any sense of empathy for the, the enormous struggle, the pain and the suffering being felt by the hundreds of thousands of families in this country and in this state who are on the verge of losing their homes. There have been 12 million foreclosures in the United States in the past six years. I mean, there's massive fraud that's responsible for the collapse of the entire economy. It's one thing to make workouts for individual homeowners, but what we're talking about is something that has destroyed the economy, destroyed jobs, and it's the responsibility of the banks and the banks need to pay. They do not equate their foreclosures to actual families and people. That shows a real disparity between the 1% and the rest of us. I was hoping to ask me if I need any money. I was going to say yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're <well, I'm> <laughs> <laughs>